controversial question. In an environment when there are coding tools out there that allow people to build things, what's the value proposition of learning a language like Python? So, not sure if this exactly answers the question, but I said trust but verify. Oh, tell me more. Okay, yeah, I've definitely used Gen AI tools before. And even for really simple things, it can get it wrong, especially mathematical things and even programming things. And so I was able to start with what Gen AI gave me as a, as, as a program. Uh -huh. And you know, as soon as you go back and prompt the, the Gen AI again and again and again, you start to introduce sort of variability of English language, right? You like when you're talking to someone online, it's really hard to tell what they mean or, right? There's all these double meanings. And Gen AI is all probabilistic. They're basically going to, you know, pick the highest probability of what you mean. And then when they give you answers back, again, they give it to you with whatever the highest probability for the next word to be. That's what they spit back at you. So as soon as you introduce sort of that prompting back and forth, it can introduce errors that potentially stack on top of errors, misunderstandings and things like that. So having a really basic knowledge of programming could allow you to maybe start with a piece of code that the Gen AI gives you back. So you're not starting with a blank slate. It's not super daunting to write it yourself, but you start with something and then you potentially test it and then debug it and then you know figure it out. Okay, now I trust that it works well. I feel like the ability to verify is the human component. Yes. And that is sort of what creates the balance with AI. Like if you let AI make all the decisions, then yeah. you've lost your self-reliance um, and you can't choose your own adventure because you're going to get a bunch of errors and it's going to yeah. lead you down the wrong path. Yeah.